Täljande till mig ännu mer. Ja, det är riktigt bra. Ja, det är, jag tycker kombon alltså. Det är liksom att du kan vara där ute. Jävlar, det här var ju modellen. Mm. Yxgreppet. Vad fan har man fått fingrar emellan. Men det är så schysst med den här va? För att famous last words kan som nu med skärmen. Men det känns som att det är så intuitivt att använda det här verktyget. Till skillnad från cookie. Ja. Jag har inte jag var Börja skafta om för att så ska jag kunna ha nytta av yxan. We're gonna do a call shaft. Yeah, we're gonna make a new axe handle for this broken axe. This at this stage, you can see the axe is broken. This is by no means a expensive axe, so barney all fine. But we can see that when it's at this stage, it starts to break. That's when you should start to make a new handle while you still have use of the axe. We made some wedges and have found a nice piece of ash, not to rot them. That had a nice split to it to begin with, so it has begun to crack. What we're aiming for is this little piece right here, where the where the grain is standing. If you cut it like this, you will have an axe that handle that splits easily and is very flexible. You want it to be stiff and with the rings standing up as much as possible. This piece would have been even better, but uh, we're going to start with this one. See where we come up with. So the wedging begin. Det går ju riktigt bra i alla fall. Ja. Det är svårt man använder skallen. Jag ska köpa en jättetaktisk armékniv och baton through it. <laughs> Alltså, se internet mappar. Okay. All right. Ooh, food. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> That's food for uh... the ninjas. <laughs> All ninja food. <laughs> Oh, that was 
bus. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Så inte minne bättre nu. Ja, men det är klart att jag. Men det går ju att göra också. Myggjävlarna hittar jag ut i alla fall. Mm. Okej. Okay. Så om man gör sådär. Det är alla kvist där som lagt upp på. Ja, det är en jävla dränge. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Blå tumme. Ja. Det här man får ta. Det får man ska handska. Det där räcker väl att gå med och sen sätta så jobbar vi brasarna. Mm. Vänta upp en lite grann. Det är alldeles för färskt. Jag kommer att krympa. Jag kommer att låta det ämnet ligga och torka. Ja. Okej, okay. som ni ser här är kärnreden. Den är jävligt spräckbenägen. Ja. Den verkar ha ruttnat upp lite grann också. Man vill ha bort allting. Kärnan och få ut det här ämnet som man har här. Jag får fram en liten planka här. Försöker hålla den så rak så den är lite böjd fortfarande. 
In English. In English, okay. So we, we have made our little 2x4 here. And I want to make this next axe handle a little bit taller, so I'm going to make it about this long. And uh, it's down to it's a bit bent, but it's still in the rough. So I'm going to start drawing on how I want the axe handle to look. You can do this with comb or whatever, or the pencil. Easiest way to just trace the lines of the old axe and then extend them. Of course, this is a great opportunity to custom make your axe. There's anything you want to change, change it now. That looks nice. And of course, this is also just rough draft. So you're gonna have time to finish it in a campfire place later on. But this will give you an indication of how to start shaping the log. And again, we've been cleaving this, so we have the rings in the wood standing. That is very important, otherwise we'll end up with a weak axe that will break. Okay, very Lord of the Rings, excellent. If you don't have a saw, you can do this with an axe. I brought mine to save calories because I had an option and this of course is the easiest way to make a rough shape so whatever I can cleave off or chip off with the axe or with the knife I'm going to saw off because this is high intensity work and it will make you sweat and burn a lot of calories what's the tool you use? <laughs> this is the Excellent, Baco Laplander. How many years do you have it? Oh, this is my second one. Uh, I bought one spare. But I still have both. I think I have them since 96. I think I had mine about 10 years. Or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. But they're excellent. I wouldn't leave wood for the woods without it. Never. Not way easy to pack. Indispensable. Well, it's not indispensable, nothing is, but it's a comfortable tool. Good. Okay. So. I'm going to start shaping this. Of course, I have this excellent tool, otherwise <laughs> we would be using the axe. It would take a lot longer because it's dull, but your axe won't be. This is a flea market. This is a barn find, actually. Not a flea market find. So.
igen mot fel håll. It's a little wet, but I can help it out with this. This is the ultimate fucking jungle tool. <laughs> Never worked with anything this good. The man club is now in session. <sighs> Excellent bread pear. I'm addicted to go. on the turn Check. Okay, so this filmer now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what we got after about one of the more there, two, three hours. Uh, one, I think. One? Okay. Time flies when you're having fun. So gonna make this uh, kind of special shape. I don't want to get accused of buying this in a hardware store, <laughs> some forum <laughs> moron. <laughs> so uh, this is what it's going to look like. Fortunately it's a bit uh, wet, so we're not going to finish it all the way. We're going to have it uh, dry out and when we put the axe head on, we are uh, not going to drive the wedge all the way in and we're not going to cut the wedge off, because when it dries, it's going to shrink. And that's gonna make the axe head sit loose. Then you need to drive in the wedge further. And uh, if you really want to do it well, use uh, glue, fish glue, pine pitch, and uh, drive one wedge in this way and the other one in that way. It will never come loose. Come loose. This is the only reason axes break. You miss. Axe handles get weakened and you destroy an axe. I'm gonna show you how to reshaft this. Okay, yeah. so uh, we saw this off. This is the wedge end of the axe and this is the handle end that broke off. So we saw that off. Now we're gonna 
use the old axe handle as a drive. We're going to drive this one out so we get a clean hole. Now I've seen uh, people advocating it, that if this is impossible, you can bury it in mud and start a fire around it and burn it out. This is possible, but what you have to consider then is that uh, if you don't bury it like in mud or something that that draws away the heat, uh, the axe can uh, become too hot and the steel tempering will ruin. So even though this is an old rotten axe, practically useless, it's going to be really useless when the steel goes. Okay, so we're going to drive this out now. Now, there are several ways of doing this. I think this is going to be easy, but if it turns out to be hard, like the axe handle is really in there, or if it epoxy in place, it uh, can be difficult and you might have to burn it out. Okay, so I'm going to hold this like every way I can. I have three hands for this. There it comes. This might look dangerous, but you need to know that this axe is really dull. So it's a slight chance of me cutting myself, but I decided to risk it. Right. Persuasion. Clean axle. We're gonna make this fit like so. It's gonna make a nice little craftable axe. It's dry, and we are going to dip it in pine pitch. We only need a little. Wipe off the excess. Now, if you want to do this right, you are very quick with it. We have cut our groove into the axe handle. We have made the wedge a little wider. So now we smack this in here. It will fill out the axle a little better. Let's pound that in there. So we won't go any further. You can see that it fills out the axle on the sides very well. That, my dear friends, is how you reshaft an axe in the forest. And remember, axes are vital in winter conditions. So do this before the axe breaks, preferably in the summer, because it's no fun splitting woods <laughs> in the middle of winter. Thanks. Watch out! The man's got an axe! <laughs> Okay, true test. I haven't driven this all the way in because we're going to tweak this and make it look like a Viking axe, but just wanted to show if it's good for anything. I'll say that's pretty much as good as it has to be. 
batoning <laughs> with an axe this time. <laughs>